Hello, hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Corinne, and today we're gonna be crocheting this adorable popsicle garland. This is a perfect summer party decor. I'm gonna post a list of materials and stitches we'll be using in the description box below, as well as a link to my blog post where I've typed this pattern out for you. So let's get started on creating these adorable little popsicles. We'll begin with our popsicle yarn color of choice and we're gonna create a slip knot to place on our hook. And then we're gonna chain 11 chain stitches. This is gonna be the bottom of our popsicle. And for row one, we're gonna go ahead and start single crocheting in each stitch across. That's gonna be a total of 10 stitches all the way across. And at the end of each row, we're gonna chain one and turn the work around. So here we are coming up on the end of row one. We've chained one and we're going to complete rows two through 12, which are gonna be single crocheting in each stitch across to create this main base of our popsicle. So I'll meet you back at the end of row 12 after we've made 12 total rows of single crochet in each stitch. So that'll be 10 stitches per row. If you enjoy tutorials like these, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Your support allows me to continue creating these free tutorials for you, so I really appreciate it. Here we are coming up on the end of row 12. We're just doing those last couple stitches and then we're gonna chain one here and turn the work around. For row 13, we're going to single crochet decrease. So that's pull up a loop through one stitch, pull up a loop through the next stitch, and then pull through all three of those loops. Then we're gonna single crochet in the next six stitches. And then we're gonna single crochet decrease again in those last two stitches. So pull up a loop, pull up a loop in that last stitch, and then pull through all three of those loops. Chain one and turn the work around. Row 14, we're gonna single crochet decrease. And then single crochet in the next four stitches. And then single crochet decrease one more time. Chain one and turn. Row 15, we're gonna single crochet decrease. Single crochet in the next two stitches. And then single crochet decrease again. We'll chain one and then we're going to create a border to clean up the edges of our popsicle. So we're gonna continue down this left side where we are with a round of single crochet. So we're just gonna turn the work slightly and start single crocheting down this left side.
And when we get to this bottom corner after this last single crochet into the corner, we're going to chain one after this corner stitch. So here we go, single crochet, chain one, and then turn and start working down across the bottom. And we'll do the same thing when we get to this other corner after we've single crocheted in this last stitch we'll chain one turn the work and continue single crocheting all the way back up this other side until we arrive back to where we started this border So here we are back at the top of our popsicle. We're going to single crochet back across the top since we started the border at the top left. And once we arrive back at that first stitch of our border, we'll slip stitch into it. So here's that slip stitch. And that's going to complete our border. To tie off, we're going to chain one and trim with a long enough tail to weave in our ends. So now we'll just take our handy dandy tapestry needle and weave in both of these loose ends. Now we need to add the popsicle stick to the bottom of our popsicle. So we're going to create a slip knot for our hook. And then we're going to count over and join into the fourth stitch at the bottom of our popsicle. And we're going to single crochet into that stitch. And then we'll single crochet into the next two stitches as well. Chain one and turn the work around. We're going to continue to single crochet in each stitch across for rows two through six. So that'll be a total of three stitches per row. For row seven, we're gonna single crochet decrease. So pull up a loop, pull up a loop through the next stitch and then pull through all three of those loops. And then we're gonna single crochet in that last stitch. That'll be a total of two stitches for row seven. Chain one and turn. Row eight, we're gonna single crochet decrease. chain one and we're going to tie off with a long enough tail to weave in these ends.
And here we finished our popsicle stick. So I'm just gonna weave in these ends and we'll move on to the face. For the rosy little cheeks, we will get some lighter peach colored yarn and we're gonna create a magic circle. We're gonna single crochet five stitches into this magic circle, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. So then we're gonna pull the loose end to tighten up the magic circle. and we're gonna slip stitch into that first single crochet. Chain one and tie off with a long enough tail to attach it to our project. Well, actually we'll use the beginning of the magic circle tail to attach it to the project. So I made this tail a little bit shorter. And here is our rosy little cheek. So we'll just need to make two of these. And we'll take our handy dandy tapestry needle to attach it to the face. But first we're going to place the safety eyes where they need to go. So we're gonna start from the bottom of our finished project and we're gonna count up and place the safety eyes between the 10th and 11th rows. You could get creative with the face and place the eyes anywhere you'd like or design a completely new face. This is just the face that I was using for this template pattern. And here it is with the finished product. You can see they look really cute there with the little cheeks. So we're just gonna pop on the safety backs and we'll move on to attaching the cheeks. So I'm using the shorter tail first to run it through one of the stitches to get it on the back side of the cheek and the placement is directly below and to the outside of the eyes. And now we're gonna move on to the longer tail and just stitch around the outside edge of these rosy cheeks. Once it's nice and secure, we'll flip it over and tie off on the back side and trim off any of the excess yarn. Now all we have to do is add the other cheek and we are done with these little popsicles.
Here are the finished little popsicles. You could make these in any colors that you'd like, and they just look precious strung across the mantle or over a party food table. To attach them to the garland, I just used this tapestry needle and some jute, and I run it through the outer edges of the popsicle two stitches. So just one stitch on either side so that it will hang evenly. And I just run it through all of these and then adjust them to where I'd like them to be hanging. And here we are with our finished garland. I hope you have enjoyed crocheting this adorable popsicle garland with me today. If you did and you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll see my next project. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.